So I think parents are struggling to know just what do I do. Yeah. It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Hello, this is Amy Knapp. My husband, Dr. Phil Knapp, and I own Chatfield Eye Care. Dr. Phil has over 20 years of experience as an optometrist. We've chosen to sponsor the Behavior Makeover segment with Ann and Linda because we're committed to helping parents learn effective, godly methods for raising their children. Anne wants to address today the situation that parents often face, which is your kids acting out in public. I certainly had my fair share of grocery store tantrums. I still have some of them with my teenage son and my 11-year-old daughter. Not so much throwing themselves on the floor because they don't want to embarrass themselves, but begging repeatedly for something um, or, or disrespecting me in front of a friend or whatever it is. How do we deal with our kids misbehaving in public? Well, the key thing to remember is that your children recognize the truth, which is that you are caught like crazy when they are going to misbehave in public. Because what do you do? We have fear that someone will see us, it will, they'll create a bigger scene, and then everyone's staring. Oh, man, kids are so smart. They know this. So here's how you deal with it. And if you're listening right now and you've ever had this happen, you're just going to start laughing at the answer. The key word is remove. See, what that child does not bargain for is that you can take them out of there, and you do, and you do it quickly, and then you deal with the situation not in public. See, when they grasp that if I act up in public, there is something very bad waiting for me in private, then their little antenna kind of go up to go, wow, maybe it's not really worth it because the last time I did that, I had to go home and go straight to bed. Or the last time I, that that happened, I had to go home and sit on a chair for a very, very long time. Mm. But here's one tip that I wish so much I had known years and years ago uh, that just recently came to me. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, somebody said, go shop, like for the grocery store problems, go shopping for no reason because you know your child is all not yours, Jenny, but just in general. If you have a, pro a problem child in a store, and they're always a problem in the grocery store, then what you do is you go shopping for no reason. Like, you don't plan to stay in the store, but you don't tell them that. So oh. you just put a few things in the cart that you know will be very easy to reshelf. Not the cold stuff, not the frozen stuff, but the canned stuff, you know, the baking goods. Mm -hmm. And then be ready at the first sign of misbehavior to whip that kid out of the, not whip them, but whisk them out of the store. Yeah and into the car and home for consequences. See, they win if they go home and play, but they do not win if they go, like you said, for a spanking or if they go home for um, a punishment when they get there. And then you remind them of that the next time before you have to go to the store. And chances are, if they believe that it will happen again, if they believe that deep down in their hearts because you proved it to them, they won't do it again. One of the problems is I think so many parents really don't know what good behavior is. So suppose your kid has been over at somebody's house, you pick them up, you say, how did things go? And they say, wonderful, you know, great, no problem. When in, this, in effect, uh, your child may not have been very polite, may have had a bad attitude, but because we've been taught by our culture that, hey, kids will be kids, you know, and teenagers will be teenagers, that our expectations are just simply too low, and we're sending the message that, yeah, no problem, everything was okay. Is the primary problem, Linda, that parents kind of in their own way are self-centered because they just want their kids to like them. And so they, instead of disciplining them or embarrassing their friend by saying, yeah, your kid acted out today, they just want everybody to like them. So they want their friend to like them. They want their child to like them. So rather than confront anything in somebody else's child's behavior or in your own child's behavior, it's better just to sweep it under the rug. Is that, is that the primary problem? Yes, I, I think you've got something there. I think one of the reasons is that parents, they just, they, they really want to be liked. They fear that their child won't like them, as you said, and so that they're just struggling to be nice and kind and wonderful when actually that's going to just work in reverse and create more and more and more problems. 